No question, what a gigantic week this week it is for this Aztec football program. Boy, I mean, Fresno State's on the horizon. They're 3-0 and in Mountain West play. They come off the heels of losing against Boise State. We go to Danny Gonzalez, the D.C. of the Aztecs, and we get his thoughts here on the Mighty 1090 now. Good morning to you, Coach. Good morning, guys. Thanks for having me. You bet. Coach, tell me now, after a devastating loss like that, give me the room and what you guys told the kids there on how you go forward here as you get ready for Fresno. Well, you know, we, we try and, and uh, treat every game the same. And when we come out of it, we, we try to not over uh, – overemphasize the wins or overemphasize the losses. I mean, we explained to them the situation. We we gave one away on our side, so we have a loss now. We, we've got a hot Fresno State come, team coming in that's first in our on our side of the division. So we have to uh, buckle down, put that behind us. Just like our wins, we got a 24-hour rule. Once we get back to work on Monday, it folks on the next opponent and forget what happened. What did you learn from your guys against Boise State? Uh, I think the if you if you when you get back on the tape and watch it, I thought we were we were really fast and aggressive early. For about two and a half quarters on defense, we played really good. Um, whereas we, we weren't giving up a lot of yards. We were tackling for two and three yard gains. Uh, as the game wore on, uh, the physicality of it, the Boise, when, when we needed to stop, I mean, there's 10-0-1 to go in the fourth quarter. We're down by 10. We need to stop. We didn't get it. So it's a good uh, teaching opportunity to show. When we, we put it on tape, we showed the exact plays that it wasn't something that they were doing different. It was plays that we weren't making at that moment, and we get an opportunity to to right that ship this weekend. Do you agree, Coach? Sometimes it's maybe not just about the effort. It's just, you know, you lose your patience when you're out there at times, and when you lose your patience, you're trying to do other things, and sometimes the hyper-focus gets lost in that translation. Your head's not on the three technique. It's more head up, which means you're getting hooked and slipped and stuff like that. Is that what you saw on tape a little bit? Was that maybe the guy started losing patience, and when you lose patience, sometimes that's when you start getting knocked off the ball. No, I think you make a great point right there. I think um, there was times as we got late in the ball game. Uh, some of our some of our mistakes were guys were trying to do a little bit too much. Uh, we started to press. We knew we needed a stop or or a, a turnover to give our offense another a short field. And so you got guys instead of doing the things that they were doing early on that were making those stops for two and three yard gains on the run or were breaking up passes. Now they're trying to make spectacular plays. And sometimes when your eyes get too big and you try and make a big play, the minimal things don't happen and and those those uh, short gains become bigger and bigger and the first downs start happening. So we've got to. We've got to keep our focus on doing what our job is and, and move forward. Danny Gonzalez, the defensive coordinator of San Diego State here on San Diego Sports Leader, the Mighty 1090. Fresno State Bulldogs this weekend, a big game in the Mountain West. Fresno State undefeated in Mountain West play at 3-0. and Coach, when you go and you play a team like Fresno State, what's the biggest challenge for you guys? Well, the biggest challenge is, one, it's we want to, we keep our guys focused on it's about us. I mean, you, you go in every week to week, and we want to be 1-0 for the week. Uh, we focus on what we did wrong, what we can do to get better. Now, we've got a, a great Fresno team coming in that they're a very, very confident bunch right now. I mean, they just beat New Mexico 38-0. They've got two shutouts on the year on defense. They've decided who their quarterback's going to be. Uh, Marcus McMarion, who had a – he had like 15 starts when he was at Oregon State, uh, transferred last year, set out, and, and he's uh, he's got a great arm. He puts the ball in the money. They've got probably the best – full set of receiving core. I mean, they can take you over the top with big plays. And then when they want to, they're going to put two tight ends in there and, and try and pound the ball and be a physical. And the the history of the matchup between Fresno State and San Diego State has always been a, a physical ball game. Uh, works out, that's our kind of brand, so works out for it. You know what it looks like to me? And tell me, Coach, if you see the same thing that I see when I watch Fresno, they almost look like us a bit, you know? We run the ball well. They play really well against the run on defense. You know, they're not spectacular – on the offensive side of the football, and they want to try to man you up, and they want to knock you off the football too. It's kind of almost like the same type of mentality that Jeff Tedford has. They almost look a little bit like us uh, in some aspects sometimes on film. Is that fair? Oh, I think that's a, I think that's a, a great analogy. I think um, if, if you look at both teams, both teams have really, really good athletes and really, really good football players. They were they were uh, guys that were probably not recruited by your your so-called Power Five conferences. Um, but they're all guys that can play at that level. And both sides are very evenly matched. I think they both have that same chip on their shoulder that they want to prove the world that, that they belong. And that makes for a really fun environment. 
Danny Gonzalez, the DC of the San Diego State Aztecs here on San Diego Sports Leader, the Mighty Tonight. Sometimes in adversity, Coach, you find silver linings in leadership. Are you starting to see a little bit of that? Because, as you know, Coach, hey, man, things are great, and they're going. you got front runners all over the place, and, you, you, you know, everything's all great. But when you get a little adversity in your room, that's when you really start to see some of the guys in your room on who those leaders are. Are some of those guys stepping up? Yeah, they are. You know, the I think the the seniors, um, they've done a good job, uh, especially in the safety room. Uh, Trey Lomax is one of my seniors. Um, he's been a good job being a leader. Yesterday after the team, it was one of those first things that the seniors kind of kept those guys out there to just explain the situation of the experiences that they've had so far. Um, I think Coach Long does a great job in mentoring the leadership of this team through the senior class. I mean, the seniors are the ones who have been here the longest. They have the most invested in the program, so they have a lot of influence with the younger guys. And I thought it was a great step uh, just kind of for them to explain the situation to those guys and, and share their experiences. And now we move forward. Coach, I, I'll give you a little small experience with me. It's like we got beat one time early in the year, and I remember our leadership, and I was a young guy on our on our Canes teams. I remember sitting in the room, and I remember the leaders going, we're not going to lose another football game. And it was all on us, and our coaching staff loved the fact that we were self-policing. And it became where in a drill, like whether a coach, uh, hey, get back in there. That wasn't done correctly. It wasn't the coaches doing that. It was the players that were doing that. And we ripped off 11 straight and won a national championship that year. And it was because of the accountability of the guys that were in the locker room. Not so much the coaches. Is that when you know you have a football team that you don't need to really be hollering any longer because the players are self-policing? Oh, absolutely. I think that's when you know you have a, a culture of a program that uh, you've designed and now it's starting to take place. And I think that we're, we're at that point in this program where um, there, there is the policing that comes from the coaches is the direction to the older guys. And then the older guys have set the tone, especially on defense. I mean, the, our expectation to play hard, physical, and create to- turnovers, um, that is now preached by the players more so than us. I mean, we're going to stay after them to make sure they play with the effort and give the, the, the top effort to be successful the way we want to be. But those guys have bought in. And when the younger guys aren't doing it the way that it's expected, all the, the older guys let them know. And that's awesome to be around. All right, finally here, what's it like to be uh, in a football locker room after a loss with Rocky Long? <laughs> I, that I want to know. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, uh, it's like everything. And the, the thing I love about Coach Long is it's black and white. There's no gray area. And oftentimes during a football game, when it's an emotional football game, and we, we, went, to, we went into this game with an emotional high, um, and we've got opportunities. I mean, the crowd was great. There, there's a ton of people in the, in the tailgate lot. Um, we hope all those people come back. I mean, the, the first run by Rashad Penny, if, if uh, he doesn't get tripped up, we might blow the top off that place. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't respond early and give him the, the opportunity to be involved in the game as much as we could. Um, but we hope they come back. Uh, after the game, Coach Long told the guys what it was. We, we got out physical by a, a better team that night. Um, I hope we get another shot at them. I know our guys hope we get another shot at them. Uh, but that starts this weekend by taking care of business. So we got to do that this weekend to, to have a chance. See, I'm the psycho, and I don't want my coach being highs and lows too much. You know, Coach, I mean, as long as I could see my coaches having that even kill, whether, you know, you don't want to get too high when the highs are too high and too low when the lows are too low, let me do that. That's good to hear that that locker room is like that, and you got self-policing against uh, what, again, was not a very good look, but they got a great opportunity this weekend against Fresno State to right the ship and hopefully get another punch at those guys again. Coach, thanks so much. Go get them this weekend. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me on, and go Aztecs. You got it. That is Danny Gonzalez, the defensive coordinator of San Diego State.